hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you all my full natural hair wash day routine from beginning to the end and what i do after my wash day routine now in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my um pre-wash day post wash day during wash day every single thing about my wash day so make sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video to someone that you most likely think would love to watch how to wash their hair properly with maximum length to tension and minimum breakage so my hair hasn't been washed in like six weeks because i had a protective style in my hair and i usually keep my protective styles for like a month and maybe like three days depending on um how busy my schedule is which is isn't really busy most of the time but i don't know something just happened i just kept this one in for like a month and three weeks it was really not nice and i suggest not to do this because you have so much dirt on your hair and that's why i'm going to be doing a scalp scrub so i'm going to be showing you how to do, use make your own diy scalp scrub especially if you don't have money or you don't have an outlet to get a scalp scrub the first thing you're going to need you're going to need a shampoo i'm going to be using this mentholated ment shampoo because this is one i usually use for like i've been really i've been using the shampoo for like three to four months now i think or five months you look you're just going to pour like any amount that you feel like is necessary how much you want it to be how little you want it to be it depends on you how thick your hair is but not really your hair like your scalp how like dirty your scalp is it doesn't really matter just like go with the flow your gut has the right thing just do whatever you want to do they're going to get vinegar i said i decided to use apple cider vinegar and the only reason i use vinegar was because i had vinegar so if you don't have vinegar you don't have to put vinegar but vinegar is going to help you to literally detoxify your hair like not just your scalp your strands too because i'm sure after like six weeks of having that protective style in your hair your strands are probably like creased greasy really not clean and you're going to be like leftover products on your hair now the most thing about a scalp scrub is for it to be able to scrub off the dead skin cells and i'm going to be using brown sugar you can use white sugar i wanted to use white sugar but then i'm I like hmm i have brown sugar i think brown sugar is going to be like more gentle to my hair and i think brown sugar probably has much more benefits of the scalp scrub but yeah i tend to use like three tablespoons of brown sugar as i said again depending on how dirty or how thick your hair is just do whatever you feel like is um, necessary this doesn't really have to like be a certain amount or certain ingredients you just have to do it the right way now i was actually shocked about how watery how liquidy it was and i'm i, I I actually expected it to be like more a much much more thicker consistency but it turned out to be that and it was perfect if it was anything thicker my scalp would have probably been peeling by now i'm actually grateful that it was this liquidy and try not to put too much product in it so it won't literally like peel off your skin i know we want to remove the dead skin cells we, we just don't want to remove our skin itself so try your best to be careful with the amount of product or the amount of sugar you use because that is literally like what makes or breaks this one i'm going to be spraying my hair with clean water this is normal water from my top just regular water just because my shampoo works better when my hair is damp or wet i feel like most shampoos work that way shampoos for wet hair works that way so i just had to spray my hair with water because i didn't want to pour water on my head because then filming it to be really difficult so i was like let me just put water on my hair i didn't spray enough water because that made my shampoo my scrub scrub not so as not so foam as much as it would have if my hair was really really wet or more wet than it would have normally been now try your best to put at, mm, as much water on your hair as possible just so that your the scrub scrub can actually like have more benefits and i said to use this scalp massager i don't know just to like prepare my scalp for what was coming because i have never done a scalp scrub before this is my absolute first time of doing a scalp scrub which is kind of i don't know normal i guess if you if you're someone that has used a scalp scrub before and you have a scalp scrub you don't have to make it this scalp scrub just use your scalp scrub that you have at home simple as that
now you're going to go on to rinsing your hair with just water for the first rinse with just normal regular water just rinse up the scalp scrub then you can continue to use the scalp scrub that was left over mine was left over so i was like why not just use everything instead of trying to um rest because in this in this youtube channel we don't waste things you don't waste and my hair was already like foamy i don't know why i think i already put shampoo on this one after rinsing off the scalp scrub and as you can see my like the foam from my hair wasn't looking dirty at all like you can already see how much dirt the scalp scrub literally removed and let me tell you this was like after six six weeks of not washing my hair like i was continuously putting products on my scalp on my hair for six weeks like really consistently but not as, as much as i would have loved to but then this was really clean for like just two washes plus this scalp scrub like my hair was really clean now i'm going with my um conditioner this is just like to get back my moisture because after doing that scalp scrub oof child your hair would be like squeaky clean because my shampoo literally does like every single thing you need to do to your shampoo to your hair in like one wash like one very good wash now we are going into the moisture and post wash day routine here i'm going to be applying my leave-in conditioner using i'm going to be moisturizing my hair using the lco method i'm going to be using my liquid conditioner and oil method my hair was already wet so the liquid part was already sorted out now i'm going to be using the mega growth leave-in conditioner this is a strengthening and and repairing conditioner this conditioner i've used it for like four for th four to three years non-stop like this conditioner really helped me like in my rise of taking care of my natural hair helped me with detangling and i don't know the formula of this conditioner isn't as good as it was before i don't know why they should try and up it again because this is a very good and affordable conditioner in nigeria i think you can get it in some african stores in canada too i'm going to be sectioning my hair into eight because oh my god my hair is way too thick to do six sections but I didn't, I didn't even know why I, I thought of doing six sections. And then the funny thing is I ended up doing ten sections. So five on each half of my head. And it helped, honestly helped me like keep my hair moisturized and detangled for a longer period of time. So what I did was I applied my, li my liquid, which was water. My hair was already wet. I applied my liquid, I applied my conditioner, and then I sealed in that moisture with my oil. I already have a tutorial on how I made my hair growth oil. I've been using that oil for like a month and a half now. Make sure to go check that video out if you want to know how I make my hair growth oil. So I'm going to show you guys everything. Now this is just me patting my hair. And I will come back and tell you guys what I did after and when I'm showing you guys how I'm sectioning and braiding my hair. Now, as you can see, I'm just um, using my fingers to detangle my hair because this will help me with minimum breakage. Like, if you're someone that is looking for a way to detangle your hair and without having too much breakage, finger detangling is the way. Like, now I'm going with my um, shea butter. This is just raw shea butter, just shea butter, nothing else in the shea butter. I'm going to do something with shea butter really soon, so make sure to watch out for that video. By the way, my hair has grown so much, it's actually crazy. And this is like my hair oil. I love this oil so much. I feel like I want to make a better oil. The next batch I'm going to make, I don't know, it's, it's going to be better than the last one. That is the that is the goal right now, making your next thing better than your last. Now I'm detangling my hair. Now when you use the oil, try your best to get the oil in like the roots, not just the body because your roots matter too because that's where your hair goes from and try to target your end because that is like your oldest parts of your hair, like your grandma's and your grandpa's. Now I'm going to be braiding my hair because braiding my hair keeps my hair stretched and protected and it also helps keeping that moisture. 
for a longer period of time and 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 because i was making my hair the next day i started to braid my hair to like stretch my hair without using heat now i made a i, I made a video before i'm um, using african threading method that method was really nice but i didn't like the results because my hair was so dry even after i moisturized my hair like it, the yarn just took all the moisture from my hair which was saddening i'm not going to do that again maybe next time i'll try doing with the african rubber because that is what they used it before now did you see that transition very good now this is just me continuing to do the same method to every single section of my hair i con i apply my conditioner apply my shea butter and i seal in that moisture with the oil finger the tango for a bit and then i braid my hair i just did 10 sections which was very this was like perfect for my hair because of my hair's density and my hair type now this is what i did i covered my hair with my satin bonnet and i slept overnight it dried and the moisture was still there like the next day and after that i detangled my hair because it was it had some tangles too and then i braided my hair for the projective style So this is the next day in the afternoon and I'm going to be taking out the braids and the twists I did in the front. I did a twist anticipating I would dye my hair for church today but I didn't so yeah. Now my braids, I thought it to look like a braid out but it didn't so it, that's fine. I will attempt a braid out probably next time or not. <laughs> so this is like the end result and my hair so this is the end result honestly my hair was clean like it was detoxified and it was very very healthy now i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's youtube video please make sure to share this video to your friends or someone you think will probably want to know how to properly wash your hair for maximum length and hair retention and also minimum breakage because breakage happens a lot during our wash days Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Please enjoy the music and make sure to watch it till the end. I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye. Love you guys so, so much. Thank you for everything that you have done. And we reached two years on YouTube. The video will be coming on that later. Later starting the week. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog or video or tutorial or watch day. Just depends. Bye.